Here's another another Ricotto Manzano, Ricotto Locotto, capsicum pubescens that I've grown this year. This one is um, an accession number from the IRS Grin, the USDA Seed Bank PI five eight five two seven three, and this one was collected in Ecuador, and has this typical uh, very long, uh, quite different shape. Um, and it's a little bit darker in colour than most um, most of the red pubescent varieties. It's not purple by any stretch, but it's it's a darker red than many. Um, this is another one that's a, a different variety. And you see that the this one's much more typical, and this one is a darker colour. And inside. Surprisingly enough, it looks like a manzano. <laughs> but these are very juicy, as you can see. This particular one, the soft is a uh, sorry, the flesh is a little softer than many ricottos, uh, manzanos, and the the aroma is a little sharper. Um, it's slightly more acidic, um, but it's very typical of capsicum pubescens. Um, this one's a little sharper, in, as I said, it'll, it's a bit less sweet. Um, it's actually less like a red bell pepper than a lot of these red manzanos. But as I say, very juicy and the flesh is softer. Uh, they are known for the flesh to be a little bit softer than most. So, a red ricotto from Ecuador. Hi, Nigel Carter back again and uh, I'll continue with some of the ricottos um, that I've pulled off, off my plants. And this next one, again as you've seen from the introduction, this next one's a little different. It's a, a long thin one. Um, the accession number from the USDA website is down below. and. As I said in the introduction, the flesh on these is, uh, is known to be much softer. Uh, they go a slightly darker colour. So, it just smells red ripe. Um, not really much tomato essence to it. But a nice manzano, ricotto, capsicum pubescence type essence to it. It smells a lot less like a, a red bell pepper than some of the, the ricottos and the manzanos do. So, PI585273, a red capsicum pubescence from Ecuador. Cheers. Mmm. Very juicy. And the, the flavour up front. <clears throat> quite is a little bit salty which is really nice really brings out the fruity flavors it's very sweet very sweet and very fruity very juicy as well the the flesh is quite soft <coughs> it went to my nose and the heat's quite strong there's a lot of heat there and it's sort of gone into our sinuses for some reason. Let me see. Wow. I feel like I ate some horse already. <coughs> Good grief. Really, that's gone into my sinuses like horse already. That's probably the best capsicum pubescens I've ever eaten, and I've eaten a lot. That's absolutely fantastic. The flavours are beautifully ripe, uh, <clears throat> red and fruity. Um, the little bit of saltiness initially really brings all the flavours out, makes them all stand out. 
and the heat is very very different um, it really is like a cross between a habanero and a, a big little thump of wasabi it really went straight up into my sinuses it's still there now trying to make me sneeze again um, the heat is very different very very different from anything any pepper um, that I've had before especially any manzano or ricotta it's uh, it's it's not as peppery, spiky heat as, as manzanas and ricottas can be. Um, it's sort of warming, and it's all gone to the very back and the very top of my throat. So that, not my tongue at all, but above it, and then into the back of my throat, and then up into the sinuses. It's uh, really making my nose run a lot now. That's very bizarre. Now in the aftertaste there is some ripe tomato type flavours, red tomato, which um, just adds to the really nice, that's a really great one. That's, as I say, that's without a doubt the best tasting capsicum pubescens I've had so far. Really is. Absolutely wonderful. Wow. Yeah, it's <clears throat> the heat's just fading now, but... It really was like a cross between a habanero and, and some wasabi. Just straight to the back of the throat, up to the top and up into the sinuses. Very strange. <laughs> well, good. An excellent one. So I highly recommend that one, I really do. And I'll be growing, uh, I'll be growing that one again next year. Try and overwinter the plants I've got too. So the number is again down here, 585273. And that's the next session number from the USDA. Oh. This is Nigel Carter, starting to cry a bit. Uh, nose running and sweating as well. <laughs> Saying thanks a lot for watching. That was a really special one, I really enjoyed that. So, <laughs> I'll see you all later. Bye bye.